blessed you. I have about 15 more minutes uh, before I wrap up on the teaching today. So we want to look at the core meanings of, of the word harvest. The core meaning. You know, it means when is your own harvest? Ah, I was she call it one last week. The meaning we did our own harvest last week. Everything is about ikore, 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 ikore. That word is very popular, very common in celestial church, but it has a meaning. So we want to look at the core meanings of that word ikore. Tobacco in Kony ikore. That is the uh, conclusion for now, for now on the teachings of others until God asks me to come out again and teach about it. It might be in the next two years. It might be in the next five years. It might be in the next seven years. Until when God tells me to come out again and talk to his people about others. But I want to wrap it up, bring a final conclusion on this. The core meanings and the core definitions of the word, the word others, the word Ikore. What does it mean? Number one, Ikore. Otumosi, Ikore. Kiko Ere. Kiko Ere. What, what is the meaning of that in English? Gathering of your reward. Gathering reward. Ikore. Papa ni ojo wo ni Ikore te ni. Oda so mwa kwea. Next week Sunday ni Ikore wa. On so mwa kwe. Next week Sunday ni kwa wa mwa ijoyi. Lama ko Ere. Ishe wa. Ojo wo ni Ikore ni. Ojo wo le ma ko Ere. Bubulana mana mara bara baton shenu wa ju olon leni. Ojo wo le ma ko Ere. Wono de da lon kwea. Second Sunday in October. Ni Ikore wa. That is, you are replying them that second Sunday in October is when you would take your reward of all that you have been doing before God. Of all that you have been doing, the reward, the reward, the reward. Ikore, Ikore. That is, harvest simply means time to be rewarded. Time to be rewarded. That is the core meaning of Ikore. Iko eri, kiko eri, getting your own reward, packing it, gathering your reward. So in other words, harvest means a time to be rewarded. Rewarded of what? Rewarded of your work before the Lord. Whether it be good, whether it be evil. Rewarded of what? Rewarded of your actions. Oh, sorrow. That action. Of that day, the reward is waiting for you on the day of harvest. So when we gathered together, when we gather rather, when we gather together on the harvest, on the day of harvest, don't be deceived. It is not all of us that are gathered for blessings. Some people are gathered for cause. Some people are gathered for punishment. Some people are gathered to get full measure of what they did. To the shepherd, to the shepherd's wife, to the shepherd's family. The reward of your deed or your work, the reward of your action. That thing. Then the reward of your words. The day you the day you use the word of your mouth to edify the name of God in your parish. The day you use the word of your mouth to convert people to your parish. Your parish used to be very few. Hey, do 20 on your parish here. But God blessed you with good anointed mouth. And you go out there, you tell people good things about your church. Even though some bad things happened, some bad stuff happened, you kept it under the carpet. But you went out there, you tell good things about your church, good things about your shepherd, good things about what God is doing. You speak to people about testimonies of what happened or what is happening in your church and you tell them good news, you preach to them. And by the works of your mouth, 20 joined the church, making 40. 50 joined the church, making 70. 100 joined the church, making 120. God will be looking at like this. And God will wait till the day of harvest to give you your bountiful reward of blessings. And as well, your own word is to scatter. Before you joined the church, there were 100. You joined them under one year. The church have reduced to 40. Because don't worry, harvest day is coming. 
o ma ko ire ise re ah celestial i ba sere re ta bibi e re ise re ni iwo yo gba o so ikore number 1 o tu mo si iko ere first corinthians chapter 15 verse 58 first corinthians chapter 15 verse 58 therefore my beloved brethren be steadfast be unmovable always abounding in the work of the lord for as much as you know that your labor is not in vain your reward is coming be steadfast in the world be steadfast in the work of the lord in his vineyard and nevertheless your reward is coming it shall not be in vain the day you walk as a side man you are you say only put the loan she lower somebody did the wrong thing and you corrected that person in love please can you come back and do all this and she return back and give you a dirty slap that dirty slap was so so painful but you refuse to retaliate because of christ seven stars but yet oh bapada o de mumora tori kore the day is coming tori christi rather the day of harvest oh my beria you is coming ha revelation chapter 22 verse 12 only a mimbok oko i come quickly a remission be pelu me and my reward is with me lati pinfoli kaluku to give unto each and everybody gege bi ise owo won according to the works of their hands a mimbok oko behold I come quickly and my reward is with me. He is coming on the day of others with his reward. Let me read one more portion of the scriptures for Galatians chapter 6, verse 9. The book of Galatians chapter 6 and verse 9. And let us not be weary in doing good, for in due season we shall harvest, we shall reap. If we faint not, let us not be weary in doing good. You are always doing good in that parish. And they call you names. They castigate you. They don't want to see you. They say you do too much. You are always doing good. But everybody attacks you. They antagonize you. You are always doing good. But they speak evil of you. You are always doing good. But they say you are doing eye service. So that the shepherd can like you and you alone. Continue to do it. The scriptures say... I am coming. He said, in due season, you shall be rewarded. When, when will God come? Or when is, according to divine pattern, that he comes to reward people? It is on the day of harvest. On the day of harvest. Ikore. Otomosi. Ikore. Number two. Core meaning. Core meaning of the word ikore. The core meaning of that word. That word, Ikore. What is the meaning? Otomasi, Iko, Ire, Ikore, Kiko Ire, Gathering of Goodness. Kiko Ire. So, you want to have because you are angry. Because they, they, got, they made you mad. Like they say in America, I am mad. I am mad. Because they, they got you mad or they, they made they, they got you angry. They, they said bad things about you, they distrust to you. And because of that, you said, No, I, I won't show up on the day of harvest. You know what you just did? You just missed your portion of getting that goodness. Listen, King David was able to succeed. He was able to succeed. Ah, he conquered Saul with the landslide because of two secrets. As she remained Jinny Daffy de Rilo, to the Beje, to the Buri Saul. You know, a king Jobari, nobody ever became a king in his family. Nobody. Nobody. It was never in the history of his family that somebody became a king. But he started, he started. On the head of David. Why? Because he mastered two secrets and he was using it until until it answered for him. 
And he told us that secret in Psalm 23, verse 6. He said, Surely, it is not contestable. You cannot argue. He said, Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. Goodness and mercy. Goodness, number one. And then mercy, number two. Ire atianu otolaye ireu otolaye anu. Yes, goodness has its own position. Mercy has its own position. So he said, goodness accompanied by mercy shall follow me. He was in the wilderness communicating with animals. But a whole prophet, the number one wealthy prophet in Israel, in their house said, I will not sit down until you bring this person. He was abandoned on the farm with the animals. But something was working for him. He was absent. When glory came to his father's house, David was not there. He was on the farm. But something went there on his behalf to work for him. What is that thing? Goodness and mercy. Bear your back, be a yet Bear your back, be a yet your ear, your dog, or ba. A ye man, Mirafu. Or don't only your man, you rig that. Or do I call any? You call it too much. You call it re. You call it re. You call it re. Go and check out the hymns of CCC on Abbess. You will see. Any young girl, me mortal, Bawa Kori Kawale Mure Lo Silewa Kale Mure Ire Kale Mulo Silewa Krezala Shella Yeloro Shame Sefumio Ami 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 Those are the colony of the guests that descend on the day of harvest to, to give us goodness. El Birakad Bired Eli El Birakad at a Bired Eli Oluami Oba Olubukun Ikore. So those are the El Birakad will be on ground. Jehovah Elion El Birakad will stay to bless. Why you are treating, you know, getting yours from every record, then Jehovah Elio Oluwa Olola Giga Julo. The, the one that blesses with wealth, abundant with Jehovah Elion, to will be there. Wafiola, I need Bewaga. That is the secret. That is when people get wealth. Ola, I need Go and look at the record of. Rich men in celestial church that are still in the line of God, their wealth is still there. Their children are eating it, and it is still there. Why? Courtesy of Jehovah Alien. El Morija Oluwa Oba. El Morija Oluwa Oba. Olupese. That one is a provider. You see, those are our guests. El Birakad, blessing. Uh, Jehovah Alien. On, 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 on inexhaustible wealth, El Morija provision. Jowo wape se fun bobo aini wa. Why? Why will El Morija come to bless you? Ki bobo iro nu wa lady ayo. It means if you don't meet with El Morija on the day of harvest, iro nu inyale ma diayo. Inyale iro nu elomi iro nu kusi nu iro nu. Some people were in deep thought and they died there. Some people were in deep thought and they got BP there. But when you meet with this El Morija, Ki Bobo Ironua Lady Ayoko Tosibel Ati Ki Bo Boe Gomio Lady Ogo. That is my reproach will not turn to glory. Now, when you get the full package, not the choir now that will be singing you. I want who are the people that will sing? Hey, and girl, me more toro bawa ko ringi kawa le ko onre le lo. So, kini tumo ikore, o tumo si kiko ire, kiko ire, kiko ire, kiko ire. Tico iri. And to get this goodness, you must be chosen. 
you must be chosen for it. You must be chosen. Psalm 64. Psalm 64. I want to pay low pay. Psalm 65. I want to pay low young. Psalm 65, verse 4. Psalm 65, verse 4. Blessed is the man whom thou chooseth and causeth to approach unto thee. Whom thou chooseth. I have chosen you to attend the other day, and then you cause to approach, that is to come, that he may dwell in thy court. If you are not dwelling in the court on the day of other you will miss that portion. That he may dwell, we shall all be satisfied with the goodness of thy house, even thy holy temple. So, this goodness that we are talking about is not the kind of goodness that you will now sit down at home. And it will come to you. No, we shall be filled with this goodness in thy court and in thy holy temple, in thy house. So when you attend that harvest with joy, you have sacrificed all to the glory of God. Then be expectant. And when I call it them, but let it call it Now, when when we start a year. There is always an expectation. Mumbon Psalm 65. Yeah, God bless you, Emmanuel S. Krauss. Mumbon be Mumbon in verse 11. That when, when we begin a year, there is an all there is always an expectation concerning that year as it is ending. No good year we end without two crowns. Only a day may she alone of my fin day way to my fin be or do near day. Ba bati lo a damage in a lori or do or tear or don't she until God used or uses that crown on your year. You have not enjoyed that year. Number one is crown of harvest that we are talking about. A god of your day correct the or doing. And number two is the crown of goodness. Psalm 65, verse 11. Thou crownest my year. With thy goodness, Psalm 65, verse 11. Thou crownest my year with thy goodness, and thy part drop fatness. Fatness that is oil, that is riches. Thy part everywhere you go, fatness dropping everywhere, blessings, riches, prosperity dropping everywhere. Why to repay you have encountered his goodness? Never allow, and that is why. As the harvest is coming to an end on the day of harvest, Nick Batile Banshu, when the service is coming to an end, some people will come. They will want to make you to be angry. They want to make you to fight. They, they want to make you to speak bad things. They want you to they want to get you angry. Because why? They are a satanic agent. They have seen the goodness. You did not see because it is spiritual. Until when it begins to manifest, that is where you now say, ah. But they have seen it because they are satanic agents. And they will make sure that you fight before you go home. They will make sure that you get angry before you go home. They will make sure that you fight because of rice. They will make sure that you fight because of coke and father. They will make sure that you do any all sort of rubbish thing. Why? Because they want you to lose that goodness. I will not lose my portion. I will never lose the goodness of God. I will never. The goodness of God in my life will never be lost in the name of Jesus. So we are looking at the core meaning of the word. Ikore. Number one. Ikore. Otomosi. Ikore. Oma by gathering of reward. Oma birie. Number two. Iko ire. Gathering or packing of goodness. And number three. Ikore. Kilo otomosi. Ikore. Iko ire. Gathering or getting blessings. Priestly blessings. Kiko ire. Kiko ire. Or Harvest is an opportunity, a ready-made opportunity for you to get blessings, priestly blessings, blessing from the mouth of your pastor or your shepherd and all the assistant shepherd. A boy, the last time on Celestial World, daddy, my, my dad was online. He said, Ojoy Suri, a day of prophetic blessing. So, Ikore, Otomosi, Kikoire, gathering of blessings. Eh, kiko ire rather ire kosure funyo kiko ire kiko ire gathering of blessings. God commanded Moses to bless the Israelites after they brought their offering. Maybe you don't know. Maybe you don't know. Maybe you don't know. In <laughs> in Leviticus, le, le, let me let me take us to Bible survey a little bit. <laughs> in Leviticus that we have been reading. God was giving a standard for harvest. 
You must not bring the one with blemish. You must not bring female. It must be a male. You must not. You must not uh, 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 take leftover to your house. You must leave the leftover in the in the in the vineyard for the poor. You must. He was given the standard. He was given the standard for others. This is what you should do. If you do this one, it is acceptable. If you do this one, it is not acceptable. The, the old of Leviticus. He was given the standard. Now, after Leviticus is numbers. Now, in numbers, he discovered that. Israelites have done all the standard. They passed the standard for others. All that he told them not to do, they abstain. All that he told them to do, they were doing. So in, in, the, in numbers, he saw that they were following the standard. And he now said, Moses, come. After harvest, when they bring their offering, when they bring their sacrifices, after harvest, you need to pray for them. You need to bless them. And this is the pattern. Hi, Ejo. Aduati Olusho. Timonse Magba for Israel. It it was not a prayer that that will come from the mind of Moses. God gave a pattern. God also one way. Let it about this shape book where time. Lord, do I call it? You are Aduato Magba for it. Yes, God. It was God Himself that told Moses after they bring everything. They, they, they obeyed everything, all the standard for others. This is the prayer. Where did we get it? Numbers chapter 6. I will read, uh, you know I will take you there. Numbers chapter 6 from verse 22. Please, this is a very important prayer that I even pray for myself. So I'm giving you an exponent. Numbers chapter 6 from verse 22. And the Lord spake unto Moses. This prayer was not Moses' plan. It was not according to the thought of Moses. The Lord spoke to Moses. Verse 23. Speak unto Aaron and unto his sons, the church workers and the shepherd. Speak to them, saying, On this wise ye shall bless the children of Israel. Saying, On this wise, Lord Joy Kore, on this wise, when they have done this, this you shall bless them, saying. So he gave a pattern. What is the pattern? The Lord bless me and keep me. <laughs> that is the prayer. The Lord make his face to shine upon me and be gracious unto me. The Lord lift up his countenance upon me and give me peace. And then they shall put my name upon the children of Israel and I will bless them. And I will bless them. And I will bless them. Two people with different responsibility on the day of harvest. Two people, two responsibilities. Number one, you, you are playing the first two by bringing, bringing your offering. That your responsibility is to appear on the day of harvest with your offering. Now, the responsibility of, of the priest is to appear with priestly blessings, prophetic blessings. Don't miss it. Koyako miss it. Your shepherd must personally bless you. This is not a dura bobo job. Your shepherd must personally bless you on the day of harvest. Ojo, ojo kiko ireni. Ojo to magbai bure lenu agbani. He must personally bless you. The angels that will be working with your shepherd on the day of harvest, they are different. The power of God and the anointing and the grace of God upon his head for that day is different because the whole host of angels and the covenant of the calling of worship and the foundation and the founding of celestial church of Christ is very active on that day. So he is blessing you in a new dimension. And all other prayers he just prayed according to how the spirit leads him. But this type of prayer, there is a model. God told Moses, Tisrali Bati Mun Kore. You missed it. You miss it. Ah, I don't miss it. In my home church in Nigeria, I make sure that the previous night, a night before harvest, I don't sleep at home. I sleep in church. Even if I'm at home very busy, at least 12 midnight, over brutal I will be in church. I'll get to church. Stay in church. Join them in decoration and do whatever I need to do. And after that, I will sleep, but set alarm. Ah, the day that my church members, the day they, they discovered this thing, I don't have to, 
He died by first thing in the morning. By will be at because daddy too, the shepherd, the main shepherd, daddy. Will, she, the whole of harvest week, he will always be in church doing stops, making doing making sure that everything will be fine. So Saturday before harvest, you will see me at the entrance of his office. My daughter by the daddy will set alarm. I will set up my alarm, and I will be there as he's coming out. As he's coming out of his office, first thing in the morning, I'll be the first person to meet him on the way. With my envelope in my hand. You want to get priestly blessings from shepherd. With empty hand, that be, yeah, he's coming. You don't, you don't get such blessings with him. Regardless that I am also a shepherd under him. Regardless that he's my father. I would have prepared my envelope. As soon as he wakes up, first thing, stepping out to, to maybe to pee or to do anything, he will meet me at the entrance. Good morning, sir. Good man at this, I will hand over the envelope to him and I will need that. And then he will put his two hands upon my head or upon my shoulder. The only way the spirit directs and we'll be loading. We'll be loading. we we'll pray, we'll be loading. Amy, I don't know to you. Except if now that I'm in America, I leave it to other people too so that that blessing can lift them. Now, the day my church members did discover, the day they discover that I think it was like a few years ago, I woke up very early in the morning. And by the time I got to uh, the entrance, waiting for that, I, I already met two or three people there. They said, hey, We now know the secret. So it was four of us. And I said, okay. And we waited. As I was coming out of the office, first thing it was maybe it was going out to pee or it was going out to pray. Maybe it was going out to pray in the altar, uh, early morning prayer. As he opened the door, he met the four of us there and he just smiled. He didn't say anything, he just smiled. And everybody was handing over their envelopes and they began to bless us. Now, if you cannot even come very early in the morning, if you cannot come very early in the morning, any time for seeing, any time on the harvest day that you see your shepherd face to face, you must offer something so that you can get that priestly blessing. It is once in a year. The prototype. The standard I just read for you. The only thing that shepherd does on that day is to bless people. If you see any shepherd that gets angry and begin to curse people on the day of harvest, that shepherd is possessed. No matter how you see things that will make you angry, no matter how they, they get you angry, you are supposed to hold it. Because your responsibility, your divine responsibility on that day is to bless. And that blessing is kind of blessing that lifts people. So, Ikore, Number four, which is the last one, as we bring it to a close. God, we thank God. It's two hours already. Number four, Ikore, Ikore, Otumos be ankoere bikau. Be anytime we Ikore, ajo wo Ikore ni ajo bai ajo bai la Ikore wa. That word Ikore. Along with you know, a day we come and where they become, we are taking you to somewhere someday. Now it is your work, your deeds, and your action that will, your thoughts that will determine where we are taking you to. Is it to hellfire or is it to the kingdom of God? Yes, Ikore and where become. Oh, Nick Bessie, you are not going to be here forever. No matter how rich you are, you are not going to be here forever. We are taking you somewhere. Whether you are small, whether you are old, whether you are shepherd, whether you are a church member, Ikore is a reminder, like a reminder service to remind every one of us that someday, somewhere, we are taking you to somewhere. Revelation chapter 12, Revelation chapter 20, Revelation chapter 20 verse 12, and I saw the dead, <laughs> small and old. I saw the dead, small and old, standing before God. And the books were opened. And another book was opened, which is the book of life. And the dead were judged out of those things which were written in the books according to their works. The Bible is perfect. According to their works. So, according to Jacob, you are we pay. And where they become. A day is coming. You are departing from this sinful world. And where they become. We are taking.
taking you somewhere. Just like we are fellowshipping, to, we are fellowshipping together. Just like we fellowship together in the church. Will you be there to fellowship with us in the church in heaven? Where there is no discrimination. Where there is no denomination. Where the poor will not be segregated from the rich. Where everybody will be a leveler. The presence of righteousness. The throne of grace. You are now in the harvest in your church today. Will you be present now in the last harvest? And that will be the only harvest. Will you be there? Listen. One day, one day, your own day of harvest will come. Or do you pay Masaya? Or do you pay to attend so that you could join for one year? Want him more sorry? Want him more that you could join sorry? Or do you pay? So go to come go. That you could join la mo. How more that you could get here? Are you are you getting now? A day is coming. You will be harvested. I'm a coe Mary. But she lost him my twelve foot. I'm a coe so. Just like we went to farmers market and we bought fruits. And we brought them from farmer's market. And we brought them, we took them to church for the purpose of the, of the things of God. A day is coming. We will pack you. We will take 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 you. We will with all your bleaching, we are taking you somewhere. With all your tattoo, as a mother celestial, you are disgracing the church. You are not glorifying the church. With all your makeup, excessive makeup, and nail paintings, and excessive ornaments, excessive jewelry, we are taking you somewhere. Will you be there? You are present on your harvest day today. Mama, 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 mama. On your harvest day, you are present with your white sutana. Very beautiful, very white. That is the harvest of your church. On your own harvest day, she wale wa shofo funsha. She wale wa ni white. She kin she do do lo ma wo. She wale wa la shop. On your own harvest day, carry la Lord on lo jaju. Come a ye ka fa ye ishala arima. Carry la Lord on lo jaju. Go ye ka fa ye ishala arima. A day is coming. Will you be there? Will I be there? So ma wambe, go she wa white lo do kure. Just like you put on white on the day of your of your harvest of your church. On the day of your own harvest, my date is different from your date. Your date is different from your father's date. Your father's date is different from your mother's date. Will you be able to wear white? Now, when you grow old and you die, as a celestial, they put white garment on your neck. They put Bible on your chest. They put cross. That Bible they put on your chest, will it justify you or will it condemn you? Will it justify you or will it condemn you? Bubu wa buruku to wu. Tan sofa ko jawa to jawa i. Ojo kama kore e. Ole jade kama lobi shele ni. Kolo sope ni lo jo kore e. Nobody will die young, you know what? But truth need to be told. Ole wani no church kama shese lo. Be yago lola Maria Angarie. Yago lola Maria. Everybody there to body soke. I want to say, Yago Lola, Maria Angarie, Yago Lola, Maria. Bobo, you have to go to the church. You want to go Ah, kilo she van yale skule. Want to go to the school? Oh, you can't imagine. 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 Oh, you can not imagine oh you can not imagine all this body that you are using different cream, most most expensive cream, most expensive perfume and pomade that you are using, that body will be lying down here, wastage, wastage, and the insect, the termite will be expecting for them to lower you down, to lower you down, so that they can feast, so that they can eat. At that time, when they abuse you, when you they will abuse you, you will not be able to talk back. They will slap you. You will not be able to raise your hand because 
wakalo si odo oluwa si oke orun sodo michael mi mo ara wakalo si odo oluwa may the lord count us worthy may the lord count you worthy may the lord count me worthy mo badu afon loye gbogbo iwa owo re gbogbo iwa owo mi ah that may make you to lose the convocation that may make me to lose that convocation ah mo badu oluwa ko ba iwa e in the name of jesus the lord will count us worthy in the name of jesus but you must know you must know when you go to farmers market to buy your fruit your pack fruit there are some fruits that grew together with those fruits on the farm but they perished on the farm they were unable to get into the van some got into the van they perished there they were unable to get to farmers market the store now when you go to the store you and picked you left some fruits with this with the with the farmer at the farmers market you left some fruits there but you and picked you chose the best and you pack it. Some that that escape farm, that escape lorry, they didn't escape farmers market. They were abandoned there, and little were taken. You took them to church. You took them to church. And while you get to church, when you are uh, arranging the fruit, no matter how careful you are, some will be pressed. Some will get spoiled. You will pack it and trash it. They managed to get to the church. But still, they are not fit for the use of the harvest. Look at how, where they have been coming. From the farm to the lorry to farmer's market. Before you came, you select them to your own car, to the church entrance, inside the church. But yet, they were not fit to be arranged in front of the altar. To the way, when we are about to arrange them, we notice. When they are harvesting them on the farm oh hide the farmer did not see it to the farmer's market oh hide they did not see it now oh hide on the promoted they no church now when we want to gather them together before the altar and you are picking them one by one he could not hide any longer as you take down also anti telegramisha egg juicy be toss on your banning a lot is not fit that orange is not fit no longer fit to appear before the altar and we throw it away you have been dodging we're not in dog one see what in dog one on shabai on job but a day we come on to dog one senior will come to the public may the lord have mercy on us may the lord have mercy on me in the mighty name of jesus so ojo lati jeko yape and koere become so other service is a service that must be observed with trembling with reverence with honor with respect in anticipation of one your blessing the reward of your work and number two in expecting of that great day that you will be invested that you will be invested that you will be invested so bobo bata ba lo sese kore wa ri gbogun ero won a pe jopo won a ko ero ma po won a ma jeun ariwa ma lo akorin a ma korin won a ma jeun omo di ati agba there will be crowd choir will be singing they will be eating and drinking it is a proverb la a fi npo we fun eni pe ojo kan ma wa iwo na ma wa ni party yen sugbon ni le jeun o ma saya o ma wa ni party yen party to to bi won ma ma so awon to like ye ju to robo like ye to ore koriko so e o ma ma sojo atumugele won ni gele kirere ani gele mr azani o ti dagbere o ma ma so amugele a won ni fila ta lele ani fila mr taufik ni won ni ayi ya lele ani ti ya to ibni abi ti ya michael abi ti ya andrew amubai ade ase gbogbo e won ma so no matter how much you think they love you on that day won ma so gbogbo wa joko in their multitude they will be eating rice they will be drinking came out but they will lay you on a table one cup be was in the table la be you will not be able to complain ah, this sun is too much take me under the shed now they will just lay you on a table and people will be <laughs> people will be doing drive through i'll be walk through i'll be clock one one she side scene i'll be clock along with queen one oh 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 O o di le o di zoo. Wa ma she side saying people will be turning around. They will look here at the inside the box and they will be doing like this. 
to do it like this. Some people say, ah, oh, I do. Some people say, ah, oh, RIP, they'll be looking at you. No matter, some, some people will even shed tears. <laughs> As they look at you, where they put you. But when they made that 360 and they are turning back, they are turning back to their table. You will not see them anymore because you are in the box. A six feet box where they put you. You will not see them. But do you know what they will be doing there? They will be eating rice. They love you. Yes, they love you. But they will tell you, you go to your bus stop and you, oh, the bus stop, yellow baller now. You go to your bus stop and you say you are not going anymore. So they, they will leave you to go. Already the bus stop here. I want to put up calling for him. Eba Musa Mumeji, FFC. Asha Gemo, Asha Lewaku. Are you getting it now? They will eat, but you will be lying down there in that box, expecting what will happen. Now when they eat and they finish eating, now pack you, dig one pit, put you there, bar, and that is the end. The only thing that will save you is your word, the word of your mouth. But I want to boo. Oh, so dwell on you. I boo you. So I boo you. I am. I boo any. But 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 you can see totally boo. In tomorrow, I will come here. The words of your mouth, your deeds and actions, and the thought of your mind. There are some thoughts that are concealed in your mind. We may not know. When you see your PS professional, professional, and I say Rama, Rama, and by the time I depart in your spirit, you are saying your Lara Kakilo Kosi Ora Nuelo Uwa Suya Kosi Lo. But you told me with your mind, you are saying, ah, but in your mind, you are saying something else. On that day, what you said, and I didn't hear. Ha! You know, last week I had a lot of things. Jade, may the Lord help us. May the Lord be with us. In the mighty name of Jesus. So you need to know this thing. A core, that core word. Otomosi, many ototo. As I run through. Number one, kikoire, gathering of your reward. Ikore, number two, kikoire, garden of the goodness of God. Goodness and mercy shall follow me. Psalm 23 verses. Number three, kikoire, garden of prophetic blessings from your shepherd, your prophet and church workers. Number four, and coerly become Lord your God. May the Lord be with us in the mighty name of Jesus. So this is how and where I am going to put an end to the teaching on harvest for now. Till another time, it might be in the next five years. The Lord will keep us. We will not die young. Ah, ni kure we we. Ah, de ne bojo lo jo lo. Ko so yo gwa te o fa ti asasi ko ni rowa. Ko koko la o ma wa. Eh, giga giga la mbojo ko koko lo ke wa. Yes, we will always be there to do His will. So, it might be in the next two years. It might be in the next five years. It might be in the next ten years. And it might be next year. Till another time that God tells me, my son, go and preach about harvest again. So, we'll be here and talk about harvest. But for now, we are bringing the teaching concerning harvest to an end today. God bless you. Thank you for watching. Thank you for the like. Thank you for the love. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. So, if you have ever missed any part of this uh, teaching on harvest, you can go on YouTube from part one to part five, I think. From part one to part five, you can go on YouTube and go and watch. Princess, Princess, come and say hi. Princess, come and say hi. We have, we have finished the teaching. Come and say hi to my friend. Come and say hello. Hello. Then say hi. Hi. Say ah, but we ain't covered it. No, let them see your teeth now. My call the paint together. Say hello. Hello. Say God bless you all. God bless you all. Did you enjoy the teaching? Ask them. Ask them. Say, did you enjoy the teaching? Did you enjoy the teaching? Say, tell them to keep watching Celestial World. Tell them. Keep watching Celestial World. And voice of authority. And voice of authority. Say bye bye. Bye bye. Eh, eh, <laughs> <laughs> so we thank God. We thank God. We have, uh, we have, we have brought it to an end today. So if anybody has question now about the teaching of today, you can quickly tell me. If you have a question, if you have any question, please quickly let us know now. Quickly let us know. If anybody has a question. <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. I'm waiting for your question. I'm waiting for your question. We have um, one minute for question. And if I'm unable to take your question, you can drop your comments on YouTube. You can drop your comments on Facebook. You can drop your comments on WhatsApp. Any other means, I will be there 
uh, to reply all your comments and to answer all your questions. But let me wait for just one minute in case uh, anybody will have a question. I think you said it all. God bless you, man. God bless you, man. Prophetess Kikelomo Omidire. In the weekend, I will go. My own, no, please bring my portion. No, God bless you, man. Thank you for today's teaching. Em, em, empress, Empress. God bless you in the name of Jesus. Hi, <laughs> Princess Tooth Fairy is coming. <laughs> thank you, mommy. But only Adebo Ali. Mommy, mommy Adebo Ali, thank you, please. But tell, tell Tooth Fairy to come like with about $10,000. So please tell Tooth Fairy to come with $10,000. Sir, when is the CD ready for all the teaching? Uh, you know, that's, that's um, I must confess, that's, that's so much work because we will start from part one. Uh, we already got, we already uh, got uh, uh, an equipment uh, to make mass dubbing. Now I'm, I'm planning to get uh, an equipment to print on the CD. You know, we just don't want to, we just don't want to record on CD ROM and use marker to write on it. There are there are some equipments when you make the mass dubbing that you put it inside it, then it prints on it and makes it very presentable, and then we begin to distribute. So. I'm working, I'm working on that. So, and uh, if God, if God blesses you, and you want to partake, this is the same way that I talked about it, that we need equipment to make a uh, mass dubbing of all our teaching on CD. I said it, and the next day, I received a call. And four days after, they, 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 they delivered it to my doorstep. So, uh, if God has blessed you, I want to be a partaker. We still need one more equipment that will help us in printing on it. We'll print on it, we'll package it. Then we'll send it to people like uh, uh, Emmanuel S. Crown that is far away in, in Europe and then to, to be a partaker. So if God has blessed you indeed and you want to sow in this ministry, you want to be a blessing to us and then to, to millions of people, do not hesitate to inbox me or call me. And uh, it shall be well with you as you do this in the mighty name of Jesus. God bless you, Papa. Nice teacher. God bless you. Anaba Moses. God bless you. God bless you mightily. In the mighty name of Jesus. I'm so happy that we have brought this teaching to an end. So next Thursday, by the grace of God, we are starting a new teaching. Yeribomi Atia Miururu Nisele. Baptism and Anointment. In celestial church of Christ, is it important? So she don't offend your king of bad me or don't sell it. I want to take back in of his ship. Is it important for us to get anointment in celestial church of Christ? And the ones that have gotten the anointment, what are they doing with it? What are we supposed to do with it? We are going into that. That's going to be another powerful teaching. And I expect, I trust the Lord that you will be available. Let me pray for you, Jehovah, Jesus Christ, Holy Michael, Lord, we thank you for this grace. We thank you for your people. Lord, I pray that you bless them in the name of Jesus. Whatever that you spent to watch this broadcast, maybe it is your time, maybe it is your internet subscription, your data, your megabyte, whatever, your phone, anything that it cost you to watch this live broadcast, my God will replenish you back in billions in the mighty name of Jesus. He will replenish you back. He will replenish you back. In the mighty name of Jesus. Mo soile yi tashe tashe. Loru ko yinsu. Oya lo di ashiri oro yi le babare. In the name of Jesus. The secret of wealth. The secret of blessings and prosperity. In your father's house. Go and possess it. Go and possess it. Go and possess it. Olu wani bagwa yi fe nyakran. En ni a ti agbara tin dan kan re she. The ability and the grace to do it well on your own. Receive now. In the name of Jesus, we talked about harvest. Harvest is a moment of blessing. You are blessed. In going out, you are blessed. In coming in, you are blessed. Go and prosper. I pray for every VOA family. I pray for everyone who has liked our page. I pray for everyone following our programs. I pray for every friends and fans of professional world evangelism outreach. I decree you will prosper. You will never know poverty 
Everyone that shares our program, maybe you have shared even just once, or you share every time you see our video. Some people will even go to an extent, our past, the past uh, editions of our program two years ago, they will still search it out and they will still share it. If you have ever shared our program, I decree in the mighty name of Jesus, my God will visit you and turn away your reproach. It shall be well with you. In the household where you are watching me, you will never cry. You will never cry. It shall be well with you.